Welcome to Live from Minnesota on KFAI, supported by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Produced in partnership with KFAI programs Radio Pocho and Miniculture. In collaboration with the St. Paul Neighborhood Network. From the studios of KFAI Community Radio in Minneapolis, Minnesota, we bring you Lady Midnight.
matriarchs. And when I sing this song, I always want to dedicate it to the feminine energy that's around us, not only in this room, but inside of our bodies. So this song is dedicated to that power, the power of women, the power of the feminine that we hold every day. And if they ask you when a woman works, I want you to repeat this.
just take
Grant us full pardon from the blame that has a right to Thank you, thank you. And Terrell, I'm um, holding it down back there in Studio 4. We're live here in Studio 5 with Lady Midnight um, in support of, you know, your beautiful faces. And uh, <laughs> shout out to Radio Pocho as well. So, I mean, I just want to say, like, I'm sitting here. I'm feeling all these emotions, <laughs> like trying not to get emotional, right? Um, the last time you were here was back in 2016, right? Uh, yeah. Tell us what it's like to be back. Like, it's been, what, three years now? Yeah, um, it feels good. I think like in 2016, I was just trying to still figure out the concept of Lady Midnight and like um, what was the personality or the spirit of this like character or this other alter ego that I have. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel, I guess, more confident or I feel yeah. like more in it. I, I guess less questions, but yeah. I still don't have all the answers. Well, let me tell you, absolutely look confident. Oh, um, thanks, girl. <laughs> and amazing while performing, uh, everybody in here, right? Um, and so my, ne my next question is, so it's been almost seven months since you released your album. Um, what, is be what has it been like since then? You know, like what's been the response from folks? Um, talk to us about that. Yeah, um, well, I was really intentional with how I wanted to release the album. And I did a number of... Um, just events around like releasing the album and I think a lot of it was centered on kind of prayer and healing yeah. and I really wanted to put this record out with the intention to heal people um, so so far that has been the feedback that I've gotten back is people just telling me that this album's really helped them in some dark times or in um, I guess some spaces where they were looking for some healing mm -hmm. and that they felt that within the music and that's been really helpful for them um, but I think for myself, like, and this is probably felt within other artists, too, when you work so hard on a project, you kind of, like, you release it. And I think there's a little bit of, like, a low that happens because you've had this thing with you. It's like your baby or your child yeah. or your best friend or your nemesis or whatever. Mm -hmm. And you're so used to having it with you. And then it's not there anymore. It's not this thing that you can kind of run back to. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that even though there's a lot of celebration and happiness, there can be mm -hmm. like even a little bit of emptiness and letting something go. Um, but you have to. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you. We do have a question back in oh. Studio 4 from Brenda okay. Terrell. Yeah. So if you guys want to go hey, ahead. Lady Midnight. Hey, Lady Midnight. Hi, hi, guys. <laughs> um, so we did have a question. Um, as I'm sure folks are aware, so our tagline here on Radio Pocho is Reclaiming Roots Through Musica. And listening to Blood Song, that, that might as well be our theme song. Um, so can you talk to us a little bit about making that song, um, about how that came to be, um, what that song represents to you? Yeah, um, you know, sometimes I feel like there's some songs that you have to work for and there's other songs that are given to you. And this was one that was kind of given to me. I was in the basement um, at MMYYKK's old house and we got together and like it's, it doesn't always happen but within that session we wrote the whole song um so I feel like that song to me is really about honoring my my ancestry honor honoring my um, my blood my heritage and I think I also kind of feel like it's um me accepting kind of guidance so not only am I honoring and acknowledging them that I'm also saying that I'm ready and like I'm accepting like what they want to give me um but I also recognize that like living your like living out the dreams of your ancestors doesn't always have to be this thing that's like really extra and that's like this huge explosion like sometimes it's quiet and sometimes it's like um very subtle and maybe even undetectable um so I think that's kind of what the lyrics represent but I have like you know, English and Spanish, and I also have, like, some indigenous language, Nahuatl, in there, um, and just talk about, like, where my people have come from and how I won't forget them. Yeah. Dang, it's like you're reclaiming roots. <laughs> it's like, basically, it's like, I'm de okay, I'm reclaiming roots through music and blood yes. song. <laughs> Probably our next theme song. 
maybe we should keep rolling. What's next? Yes, next? let's do it. We don't want to take okay, too much time from good. yourself. Yeah, this next one's called Say It. And you 
Wash me clean, wash me clean, wash me To me now, not so long. I'll bathe the body with your soul. Fall into waiting, fall into hope, and I see your soul. Willing the moment, I see your soul. If you burn in the fire, uh, I will hold a seance for you. Bring you back to me. Grow you in the soil. Harvest in the moonlight. What are you in memory? I'll replay your ways. I'll replay your ways. I'll replay the ways. Choose the praises from your better faces. Bring you back to me. Don't slip the detail. Can't stop the motion. I can't get, I can't get over you. Oh no, oh no. Thinking on replay. Stuck with the notion. Be waiting your return. Tell me, how can I fight them? How can I teach them when I'm still learning? Holding your freedom, calling you back because I'm so young. And then you came in fire, flying like a phoenix for me. Show me you remember me. Left it in the soil.
All right, welcome back to Radio Pocho here live on KFAI. We're in Studio 5 with Lady Midnight uh, in collaboration with uh, Mini Culture and SPNN. So we just got back from that second set, and again, a beautiful set. Thank so you. thank you to you and your band for being here. Um, I want to I wanna go back to the first song, To Say It. Uh, the song seems very personal, right? Like you hear, and there's a lot of messaging of like trust, right? Can you... Tell us a little bit more about that. Um, I'll say it, that first one that we did yeah. from the second set. Yeah. Um, that was a fun night. I was with Proper T, Taylor Johnson. Um, <laughs> it was a full moon. And I think we were just, like, fed up with, like, holding things in. And if you know him, he's, like, somebody who's very vivacious. And it was just all about, like, just let's not live that. Let's not live in a lie or let's not live being held back. Let's just go for it and speak our truth whatever that might be um because it's better to live a life you know what is the saying um it's better to die standing up than live a life on your knees yes uh thank you for that so you know we've heard several of your songs already there's been a few songs such as blood right um that you've released music videos to mm -hmm. and there seems to be a, a theme throughout your music videos and your music can you talk to us a little bit more about that oh wow yes um yeah, I think with this particular album, I really was interested in kind of like looking at um, maybe the unseen or even trauma. I think like the, the album, like I said, was really like the influence was my own experiences and ways to be able to make meaning from things that are really painful sometimes. Um, so I think like even within the music videos, there's like some type of ritual that's taking place or even kind of like the ceremony. Um, and I think that that's important in order to um, have purpose in your life. And at least for me, not for everybody. So I think there's kind of this balance of like reverence of like what has been, but for the purpose to move forward. And I don't know if that always translates with the music, but um, sometimes it can feel like sacrificial in this way of like I give myself in order to like be renewed and um, I think that's what I was thinking about when I made the videos yeah I don't I still am trying to figure out what they mean yeah. no for sure um, there also seems to and I don't know whether this was on purpose or not right but this the four elements somehow are kind of you know put in there there's like fire right there's water um, earth um, air can you talk to us a little bit more about that yeah um, I think like that I'm so happy that you found that within the music videos and like even within the messaging I don't know if that was an intentional mm -hmm. thing I think maybe that's just something that I always am like carry with me and I'm aware of I think like the four directions are something that's really sacred within indigenous practice so it would make sense that that kind of like comes up within the visuals for it um, but it's just the elements, you know, kind of like the elements, like what makes um, what makes life. And I think in an album that talks a lot about death, <laughs> it's important to examine that other side, too. Yes. Well, thank you. We're going to uh, hand it back over to you oh, again. Thank you so much. Um, let you take the stage. Thank, thank you. you. Five fingers to my waist I can hear your body lonely 
put our fingers to my way. I can hear your body lonely. Longing for it. Been a long time, been a long time. Pick your fill of falling fruit Pluck the green from the tree Take a sip of orange light
I'm the devil and shadow I'm the devil and shadow This is a collaboration with Mini Culture and ESPN, uh, founded by Cultural Heritage Fund. And we thank to Lady Midnight for the amazing performance right now. And just a quick question before we go back to Studio 5. What are you working on and what, what is expected for 2020 for your projects as Lady Midnight? Yeah, I think, um, let me take that that effect off of it. Um, I think, uh, you know, after working so hard on this album, I'm really just trying to open myself up with more experimentation. And so um, I'm going to be announcing some shows that are 
helping me in that space to be able to play around a little bit more. So you can definitely expect like some more experimental um, performances. And I'm still working on music, still writing with different people. I don't have a particular project in the works that's due for release, but some singles for sure that should come out um, pretty soon in January. So, yeah. So, thank you. Um, it was good to see you for. All right, well, again, we just want to thank you all for being here. Um, thank you, Lady Midnight, Adri, your band. It was amazing, you know, thank being you. live. And I'm sitting there and I'm getting responses from folks that aren't even here, like enjoying it live, oh, um, which is so beautiful, right? Um, again, thank you to Radio Pocho, to KFAI, Mini Culture, SPNN. Um, and we hope to have you soon, right? Thank you. Um, thank this was you. beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, we love being here. Thank you so much.
support for Mini Culture on KFAI comes from the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund.